As another week of protests in China comes to a close, more scenes of defiance emerging. This video obtained by Reuters show protesters pushing open a barrier to gain access to a facility sealed off by authorities in Wuhan. <laughs> Anger over COVID restrictions has fueled dozens of protests in more than 20 cities in recent days, even though the government announced it will scale back on restrictions, making its zero COVID policy more targeted amid an economic slowdown and public frustration. Today, on this first weekend of loosened restrictions, video showing Chinese workers in Beijing removing a COVID testing booth went viral on Chinese social media. Many testing booths in the city have been shut down as the capital stops demanding negative test results as a condition to enter places such as supermarkets. Elsewhere in Beijing, residents have been waiting hours at remaining COVID testing booths to be able to enter their workplaces, such as offices, where proof of negative testing is still a requirement. This man was one of them, he says. Some places are now asking for 24-hour COVID test results, and you can't even get in. Supermarkets won't let you in either. You can't get in anywhere. You can't go to work. It's having an impact. China reported 32,800 new COVID-19 infections as of Friday. Further announcements on more nationwide reduction in testing requirements, as well as close contacts isolation, are expected. The relaxation of COVID restrictions in China have been welcomed by the World Health Organization, which has described them as not sustainable. Uh, we hope this progresses and we see that coherent, calibrated strategy emerge that balances the control of the virus with the lives, the livelihoods and well-being and human rights uh, of the people of China. Officials with the WHO say about 90 percent of the population now has some kind of immunity to the coronavirus due to prior infection or vaccination, adding that the world is inching closer to the end of the pandemic. Melissa Nakavali, City News.